Okay, well, baseball tournament tonight. Dunbar taking on LCA. Pick it up in the third. Dunbar up one nothing. Brent Hunt with a single to right scores. Craig Dunn making it two nothing Bulldogs. But the night belonged to starting pitcher Josh, Josh Ellis, who delivered in the top of the seventh, striking out Zach Monroe. Continuing through the lineup with Robert Skates. Ellis had nine total strikeouts, including six consecutive. And the victory is theirs. Strikeout to finish at Dunbar, winning their first regional title in school history. The downpour last night almost delayed the 11th region championship between Dunbar and Lexington Christian tonight. But a day's full of work on the field, and we were ready to go from Woodford County Park. Let's get to it. 2 nothing game in the third. Dogs looking for more. The ball squirts behind Lexington Christian's catcher. But Dustin Moran trying to score. Tagged at the plate. Great play. The lead remained 2-0. With Josh Ellis on the mound, that must seem like 200. I'm telling you, Ellis is awesome. They're a huge strikeout to get out of a first and third jam. The lead remained intact. Finally, Ellis shutting LCA down for good, striking out the final six batters he faced. Dunbar wins their first regional championship in school history. Two runs, all they need when you got Josh Ellis, and it's off to Applebee's Park for the Bulldogs. It's a great feeling, you know, we started off the first goal of the season was to win the region. You know, set history for the school. We haven't done it before, and it uh, feels awesome we get to play on. We're coming off this huge win, and we, we've got the best pitching staff in the state. We're just... Christian Academy met. It was a phenomenal game. Extra innings, a whole nine yards. Dunbar came out on top as the number one team in, team in the state. Since then, the Eagles have been patiently waiting for another opportunity, this one in the regional finals. Dunbar leading 2-0 in the bottom of the fourth and threatening for more with runners on second and third when LCA's Hunter Ledbetter gets David Stanley to ground out to short to squelch that Dunbar rally. Ledbetter gave up just five hits on the day, but as good as the LCA hurler was, Dunbar's Josh Ellis even better like butter. He mowed down the two Eagles, their top two big hitters, Josh Caraman and Josh Rogers, and moved to striking out this side in the sixth inning. Then in the top of the seventh, Ellis was back to his old tricks, ending up striking out the last six LCA batters of the game. He gave up just two hits in another great performance. He earned tournament MVP honors, and Dunbar wins their first ever region crown, beating LCA two to nothing. Oh, yeah, we've been talking about it all week. It's the first time in school history, and it's just a huge honor for all of us. Well, you know, I just started to, you know, taste the region title there towards the end of the game, and it just kind of fueled the fire inside me, and I got some pop there that I didn't have all game with my fastball. Have you ever been able to, you know, mow down six guys at the end of the game like that? You know, I've never had that done before, and it's just a great feeling to do it right here on this day.